We're in a race to save ourselves. You'd be crazy not to have anxiety around climate change right now. We have this optimistic urgency that we have to get after things. We are on a journey to make the most sustainable shoe ever. We have been spending a lot of time trying to figure out how to reduce our carbon footprint. We kept going back to this phrase called in situ utilization. There's this idea in space exploration that if you're going to fly to the moon, fly to Mars, and stay there and do something, you have to create things with what you find there. Say there's no resupply mission coming to Mars, there's no resupply mission coming to Earth either. Noah came in, one of the great insights he had was, hey, what do we have laying around? What if waste becomes our future feedstock? What if it is actually the material that we use? And that's really where the idea of Space Hippie was born out of. We just started grabbing different things we already had and putting them together. We were looking at everything and saying, oh, it's like super spacey, but it's also really rough. There was something about it that was so different than anything I had seen us doing. It made our factory partners very nervous. Hey, are you serious? Are we, are we gonna really making the shoes like that? And they look weird. It's because they're made of trash. We are working on what it means to create a fully closed loop economy. Reuse of materials so that we aren't causing more damage to the planet. Sustainability at Nike, though, is not new. We divert over a billion plastic bottles a year. And so it, there's this duality of high performance but low impact. If we don't start now doing something, then we might not have that future to actually get to. Our job is also to help protect the future of sport. Our job is to leave the world a better place.